Hi everybody, this is the instructional video for your final project, which is going to be to design artwork for either a musical CD, musical album, or for a film. And I already talked about in the other um, video that I made about various different choices you could do. You could do this digitally, you could do it with markers, paint, or whatever medium you would like to use, and you can use Disk Sketch or some other program to upload your artwork. You can use photographs. And the main thing you want to make sure is you have a good template. And I have some more examples that I didn't have in the, the lecture. You can see this is one here. And this was all hand-drawn. And then I believe she uploaded it into the program. And maybe she used the program to do the text. So you'd want to have your front cover your disc circle design, your back cover, and then maybe an insert. I think this is the insert probably for this one. Here's another one. This was all drawn by hand. This is a very beautiful design that he did. It was actually in color, but for some reason I never got a good photograph of it. And it was all like a little hand detailed illustration. So you can see he's got the front cover, the back cover with the song titles, and then the circle. And it's up to you what you want to write on here. You should have some song titles if it's a, for a musical album. This is another one someone did. For some reason he never did his back cover or the circle design, but this was for a film. And what he did was he went to take his own photograph. Um, I think it was in Patchogue. And then he superimposed his digital designs onto that. So this would be the front cover for this. But if you're doing a film, you would want to have more than just the title and the front cover. You want to have the back cover maybe with a little synopsis of what the film is about and actors and stuff like that. Okay, so for mine, I already showed you one that I did on the other lecture um, where I used some photographs and just sketch, but I did another one where I worked by hand and I did everything by hand basically for this one. I, what I did was I started with the design that I did for a painting of my Siamese cat and I used that I'll show you. First I sketched everything out onto my graph paper. I did my front cover, back cover, and the circle design. And I used tracings of the original drawing and various other things. And I just some things that I just drew in there. And I also used the mice and the cheese that I had used in another design. And I had a cat face in it for one of the balance collages. And then I traced all of that onto my tracing paper. I just, it's very easy to do if you use the graph paper because then you can map out whatever sizes. I, I did have to make the front cover slightly bigger um, for what I ended up doing with that. And then I just trace it off of there. And do the trace transfer, trace over the back. Now for the text, I didn't want to try doing the text by hand because I didn't have time to get it looking really regular, which you can do by hand, but it's a lot of work. It's kind of like an art form in and of itself. So what I did was I went into notes on my iPad or my phone, and then I printed out in different fonts, um, you know, the title and the song. There's only one song on this, which is called The Mischief Mix. And then what I did was I traced it, you can see over here, trace the one that was the right size that I wanted to use and then I transferred it onto here. Now when I ended up doing the text, this is the final version which was done with markers and metallic pens. I hope I, I couldn't get a really good photograph of it but I hope you can see it better here. And uh, I had to center the text a little bit better when I was doing that. So I ended up tracing down all of the, transferring down all of the drawing and everything. And then I went back and I got the text exactly where I wanted it. Now when I do transfer the grids for each part, I usually will do the corners, the center, and then the, the midpoint on the lines in case I need to use that. And I don't know how well this is coming off. It looks like it's, I can't tell because I'm using my phone. <laughs> and it's kind of a weird angle, but... I'll try to tilt it a little bit like I did with that other one that I used the metallic markers. So I just used a combination of that. You can see I used mostly a symmetrical design for the front cover, and then a semi-asymmetrical design for the back cover, 
which has the song title, was just one song called The Mischief Mix, and a more slightly more asymmetrical design that I used for the circle. I tend to gravitate towards things that are a little bit symmetrical, but not really completely. So you can think about that and think you're gonna be thinking about all of the other things that you did, you learned about in the class for all of your designs. And this is gonna be the summation of everything that you learned. So you want this to be among your best work. So take care and have fun. Email me or contact me in some other way at Brightspace if you have any questions. Have fun.